the McRib. 2014, I think, was the last time it came out. Stick around, you'll see exactly what it looks like, how I rated it, and if it's actually any good. So this week, as I say, we are back to McDonald's for the McRib, which hasn't been out since 2014, December 2014. Um, and I can always remember it as being one of the burgers that's like the nicer McDonald's burgers, um, or just different at least. It's not a, a burger as such, it's a, you know, it's a pork patty, but it's supposed to obviously resemble um, ribs. And you'll see in a minute the uh, little advert from 1981, which I didn't know existed. And to be perfectly honest, I didn't know they brought it out in 1981, which is a long time, let's say, 40 odd years. Um, still, um, to, to have the sort of huge gaps between uh, bringing it out. I, I don't know why, because it is a good burger. Unlike the fries, which this week were pretty much rubbish. They were cold and they were kind of, uh, what's the word, brittle? Can it, they just, just snapped in half. They, they was, yeah, they were horrible fries this week. I think they've just been left out on the side. Um, the other new item, which is this cheese bite, which is mozzarella and emmental. You can see, again, it just broke away because there was, there was no heat in it whatsoever. If they were hot, I'd, I'd probably give them nine out of 10. I'd give them 10 out of 10 because the, the cheese bites are always really nice and they've got a caramelized onion flavored breadcrumb. So again, they could do with being a little bit bigger, but th they were nice. Um, but again, there you go. You can see there just broke apart. There was no heat to it. it didn't pull, you know, as cheese normally would. Uh, Emmental is probably a little bit less stringy cheese, but um, more of a nutty flavor, I think Emmental is. But it's, yeah, it, it gave the cheese bites um, a nice flavour, a kind of rounded flavour as opposed to just mozzarella, which can be obviously very plain. What did you say this was again? McDonald's calls it the McRib sandwich. Uh, Vinci's TV with that advert from about eight years ago, I think it was now. But there we go. So McDonald's have done it again. Um, the build is just ridiculous. They've put most of the sauce on one side and half of the patty is missing sauce. Um, you know, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I think I just, uh, you've got to come down to expecting um, that from McDonald's nowadays. Maybe they're churning them out too fast, you know, less being bothered. Um, but for 4 99 I think they should be bothered. You know, it should turn out reasonably close to advertised versus reality. And it wasn't really anywhere like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, raw onions, I hate raw onions on, on almost anything because it just overpowers everything. Um, so it's kind of good that they didn't have that many. But at the same time, that's not the proper burger or patty or sandwich rather. So the actual flavors itself was kind of a really deep, smoky barbecue sauce, which was really, really good. Um, I can't remember exactly 10 years ago whether it was exactly the same. Um, the patty itself could do with being a little bit thicker, but the patty flavoring again, probably a million and one different chemicals in it, but the combination of chemicals they've used seems to be pretty good. Um, I can't really say much more about it. It was it was decent um, processed meat, albeit processed meat. Uh, again, could do with being a little bit thicker. It was a little bit soft, uh, you know, so maybe sort of slightly too uh, slightly too processed. But overall, as a return, it was definitely a, a good sandwich. Um, just the build quality really, you know, let it down. And I mean, I know it's nitpicking, but. You should expect it. The only thing that was weird was the actual patty was longer than the bun, which in McDonald's world is usually the complete opposite. So maybe somebody, you know, realized that actually, maybe we should have the burger that you can actually see it. So, you know, that's a good thing in itself. But overall, yeah, really nice return. Whether it's staying or not, I don't think it's staying. I think it's, a, again, a limited item. Um, if you're not subscribed, just while it's on the screen, please feel free to click the subscribe button. It costs you nothing, and I would massively appreciate it. And all the new people that have subscribed recently is, is absolutely mind blowing. So yeah, I appreciate that. On to the, which is a strange, you know, I know it's meant to be Christmas apparently already in most shops, but there is Halloween and they've not done it as a range specifically. It's just the odd item that's a, a Halloween item. Um, a bit like that last week with the Krispy Kreme and 
as it happens, the ribs, um, in terms of the McRib. But as a McFlurry, and they're all very much similar, as I'm sure most people know, not too many uh, crushed M&Ms this week or crushed item, you know, whichever you have in the McFlurry, and not too much sauce, which I think is good. You know, most of it was the ice cream, which is really nice ice cream, uh, vanilla ice cream, I think it is the base. But it was, it was pretty good. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was outstanding, but it was pretty good. However, on to, as always, I thought was going to be absolutely amazing, um, the toffee apple pie. And you'll see in a second why not. The flavours themselves, toffee and the apple together, yeah, we're, we're really good. I mean, I, I can't fault an apple pie, but one thing I can fault, which you can see there, is the huge difference of £1.40-odd to £2.20-odd from Deliveroo to Just Eat delivery prices. I mean, what on earth is that all about? You know, even to the point where I've signed up to Deliveroo um, Premium just so I can get the free deliveries with doing this um, every week rather than paying the delivery fees. But McDonald's refuse outright refuse to allow free delivery which I, I just you know that's why they're billionaires and all the land they own and everything else but either way i just thought that was quite shocking so anyway after all of that sorry back to the toffee apple pie that was the problem there it kind of broke in half like right down the middle um the flavors were nice the toffee and the apple together were brilliant but overall as a meal was, was pretty good. I'm not going to give it a massive rating, which you'll see there. 8.5, 9, 8, and 8. So overall, very good. Try it if you haven't. And if you haven't, check out these videos.